Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon. We are back with another video. Today, we're talking about BitTensor Tau and subnet number 34, BitMind, and their new mobile application. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and don't forget to grab your completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin in the description below this video. Go ahead, grab it now, and let's talk about how you can be generating 175% APY with BitMind. So kicking things off, like I said, guys, BitMind is subnet number 34 in the BitTensor ecosystem. You can check out the data around BitMind over on TauStats. Again, I can leave a link for this in the description below the video. I can also leave a link to the BitMind X or Twitter account as well. If you haven't seen other videos on the channel about subnets and what they are, definitely check out those other videos. I will leave some links at the top of the screen here or just search for Tau on my channel and you'll see a whole bunch of videos so you can start diving deeper into subnets and getting a better understanding of them. But we can see the bit mind is currently priced at about 0.0188 Tau, which is the equivalent of about $6 and 35 cents. We can see currently they're garnering about 1.8% of the daily emissions in the Tau ecosystem. And price has been definitely moving to the downside here, but so has the entire Tau ecosystem overall. And I think we're going to see a bottoming with some of subnet prices. And we should see BitMind along with a lot of other subnets beginning to outperform Tau in the coming months. So I'm not necessarily deterred by this price action because I do think under the hood, there's lots of fundamentally sound principles with what BitMind are doing. And so you might be asking yourself, what is BitMind and what do they do? Well, essentially, they are a decentralized deep fake detection protocol and subnet built on the BitTensor network. Again, we know that moving into this era of artificial intelligence, sometimes it's very difficult to tell what is real and what is fake in the world of AI, and BitMind are honing in to solve that problem and actually harnessing the power of artificial intelligence in order to essentially help us determine if certain pieces of content are indeed real human-generated content or artificially generated using AI. So 2025 has been a watershed year for generative AI, and we're now seeing the lines being blurred between what is real and what is fake, and BitMind is a subnet dedicated essentially towards helping to detect fake content, fake AI graphics, videos, images, text, and BitMind's market-leading AI detection is helping them establish themselves as a leader in the Tau ecosystem for this particular niche, okay? BitMind is the market leader with an 88% detection rate. I'm gonna show you us putting BitMind to the test in just a moment, but you can come over to bitmind.ai and check out all the stuff happening here with their website, giving you lots of up-to-date information. Again, obviously miners on this subnet are focused on helping to improve the model for AI detection and harnessing the power of AI to uh, determine whether content is real or fake. And AI detection is important because as we're moving into this world where people are using AI every single day, understanding that your reputation, my reputation, um, you know, a lot of people's livelihoods depend on content creation, uh, creating content, uh, video, text, images in the world of uh, this digital era that we're in and moving more towards. And I think having the ability to detect if content is artificially generated or if it's been uh, had lots of time and effort put into it by real human creators is important to be able to determine. So AI detection is important for that reason, among many others. But what BitMind have done here in the past couple of weeks is they have launched a new mobile application. Again, there's lots of ways that you can actually begin to explore these apps built on BitMind. They do have a Chrome extension. They also have uh, the detector.ai, but their new mobile app, their AI or not mobile app, if I jump over to the next page here, they've created this AI or not mobile app to help you and me determine if certain pieces of content are indeed artificially generated or real. And so you can download this on the Apple Play Store. You can also get it on Google Play as well. I do have it on my mobile device itself. I've been testing it here 
over the past couple of hours, and it works pretty well. There's lots of interesting ways that you can generate um, reports and generate insights on whether content is real or fake. But for the purpose of today's video, I wanted to share how it works in practice with a super simple example. Again, AI detector by Bitmind, if we upload an image, this is a real photo, an actual real image. Um, so we should get a report or a, a a result that tells us that it is not AI generated, and it's giving us that um, that report there with 99.97% confidence that this image is indeed real, and it is a genuine photograph. If we reload the page, though, and we go ahead and we upload an AI generated graphic, again, the protocol under the hood or it would be difficult for it to know whether this has actually been generated by a human or an AI generated image. So if we analyze this image, it it comes back, it tells us with 92.28% confidence that this is indeed AI generated. So this is how it works in practice. And again, you can start thinking about using it for video detection and image detection right here on the website, and it's going to give you a quick snapshot. So this is important again, because there's lots of ways that we can analyze this content to determine if it is real or fake. And you can begin to see how this gets um, very useful in certain industries, you know, in universities where lecturers, professors need to understand if certain pieces of content are indeed uh, generated by humans or generated by AI. There's lots of different, um, you know, compliance businesses that would need to understand whether content is real and genuine from human creation or from artificial intelligence. And so you can begin to see how this can get applied across a wide number of industries and can be very, very useful. So I encourage you to check out the AI or not mobile app for Bitmind, <clears throat> download it on your mobile device, start playing around with it. Lots of powerful features, <clears throat> like, like I said, instant analysis, share from social media apps. It's very, very fast, like you saw in practice. And it works everywhere because obviously this is a decentralized subnet running on the Tau ecosystem. So Subnet 34 is constantly evolving in line with developments in the AI space. And to save this piece for last, I know this is one of the reasons why you probably clicked on this video, but you can obviously get exposure to Bitmind by purchasing their Subnet Alpha token. Again, looking here at circulating supply, we've got 2.3 million tokens in circulation out of a total of 21 million. We're sitting at a $13 million market cap. And again, it's up to you to determine and decide whether you think that is undervalued based on the problem they're solving here and the potential growth for Bitmind as a subnet in the Tau ecosystem. But if we jump over to Tau Yield, by owning and purchasing the subnet alpha token for Bitmind, you can be generating 175% APY. That means if you purchase a thousand tokens today, you're going to have somewhere in the region of 2,750 tokens in 365 days from now, if that APY stays up at these levels. So you can be generating some phenomenal staking yield from the Bitmind subnet alpha token. And again, if the price action keeps moving to the downside in Tau terms, you're going to make some of that up in the staking APY. If we find a bottom for the Bitmine price versus Tau and we start moving to the upside, you could potentially substantially outperform Tau on a percentage basis over the next year and be generating that staking yield. So I'm going to leave a link for Bitmind in the description below this video. I'm going to leave a link specifically uh, to this link right here, bitmind.ai slash mobile, which is the page we were looking at. So you can go ahead and download their mobile device as well. They do share some great updates over on X as well. They have an X account with at Bitmind AI. You can check it out. Lots of good updates, keeping the community in the loop about what they're up to, with what they're building, with everything to do with the new mobile app and how they're continuously pushing updates like I said, they're constantly evolving in line with all the latest developments in the AI space. So make sure to check out Bitmind. And again, possibly a good subnet for earning some very good staking yield. And if we can find a bottom here, get support versus Tau and see that price moving to the upside, this could be a very lucrative subnet play. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one today about Bitmind's market leading AI detection. Again, check out the link in the description for Bitmind. I've left it below for everyone here to check out their new AI or not mobile app. Again, if you have any questions or comments, drop a comment below this video. Let me know what you think of Bitmind. What do you think of AI detection in a distributed fashion 
on blockchain technology using artificial intelligence. I think it's a super exciting advancement to be able to detect certain pieces of content. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And if you think that staking APY is worth it, I think it could be at 175%. So make sure to drop a comment below. As always, if you've got any value, please just take three seconds right now, smash that thumbs up button. It's right below my finger on the screen. Make sure to give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and you've got a completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin waiting for you in the description as well. Grab that now and we'll catch you in the next one.